Hello, Paul Wilkinson here. In this video, we're going to use Elton John's music as a vehicle to expand our chord progressions. So we're going to use um, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and we're going to look at some of the chords that Elton uses in the opening. Um, we'll see that he uses some various kind of different slash chords where he, he puts uh, different roots or different inversions in the, the bass. Some people refer to them as slash chords, some people refer to them as inversions. So without further ado, let's uh, have a look at that now and then hopefully you can take this into your own compositions and your own songwriting. So here's the opening chords to Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. F chord, C over E, a D minor, D minor with a C in the bass, a B flat chord, a B flat with a C in the bass, a C7 resolving to the F. Let's just play that, but without the slash chord. So F, C, D minor, D minor, B flat, B flat, C7, F. So those beautiful slash chords really make a difference. This isn't something that Elton John came up with. This is in the great music of the past. And here's one example from Bach, from his Christus, De Is Mein Lieben. Here we go, F chord. Then we have an F chord, a C over E, an F7 chord, but over an E flat, and then a B flat chord over D. I would really recommend studying the 371 harmonized chorales by Bach. They contain everything you would ever need. I would study this book at great length. Because we have the F, the C over E, the F7 with E flat in the bass, and the B flat over D. I picked this one because it's in the same key as Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. So let's just say for a moment we have the chord progressions of C, G, A minor, F, D minor, G, C. So C, G, A minor, F, D minor, G, and then C. Okay, now let me change some of the quality of the chords by putting different root notes in the bass. And there will be root notes from the chord. So here we go. C. G now, but I'll put B in the bass. A minor, but I'll put C in the bass. F, but I'll put keep the C in the bass. D minor, which will become D minor 7, because I'll keep the C in the bass. And then a G with a B in the bass. And then a C in the bass. We could approach that differently. C. And then maybe D in the bass instead of the B. When he goes to the A minor, go back to the C. When he goes to the F, I'll put A in the bass. When it comes to D minor, I'll keep the A. And when it comes to the G, I'll put D in the bass. And now we'll resolve with the C. So there you go, that's something you can try. You've got your standard chord progression and you start to take the notes from the triad or the seven chord, depending what kind of chord you've got, and you put them in the bass instead. And you'll start to develop some really interesting voice leading in the bass because you're not moving very much well worth exploring so now let's have a look again at uh, goodbye yellow brick road and look at this what i call a traveling chords we've got g minor seven b flat c7 and then we get f which is chord one then he gives us chord one but over the third drops into the four chord so this is a lovely thing to try in your piece so let's say we were in the key of c so we'd have d minor f g7 and then c but then c over e going into the f chord well, like that. one more time d minor and the f chord we could have a g or a g7 let's let's just have a g for now and then we go c C over E, I'll change the inversion of the F up to the top. It is quite nice with that one to, to give this falling, you know, it wants to drop in like that, you could then do that again. So the other thing that Alan John would use would be like a travelling chord, so instead of going, as we can see in the Your Song example, instead of going B flat to C minor like this, so he's going A flat, B flat over D, C minor. So the four chord, which is A flat in this key, the B flat over D, and then that D will drop down beautifully to C minor. So that's a lovely, lovely sound. That A flat, the B flat over the D in the bass, and then drop it into C minor. 
I call this a travelling chord, but it's kind of descending the other way. If we did it in C, we would have F chord, G over B, into A minor. So there you go, we have some different ways of maybe expanding your songwriting. Uh, I hope you find that uh, useful. Uh, thanks for watching, and bye for now.